welcome back to our videos this video focuses on helping you to write project objectives project objectives are very very important it might be with a simple project which is given to a uh, children studying in fifth standard eighth standard or pu or an engineering graduate or phd student or in an industry writing this project objectives becomes very very significant in fact this project objective clearly defines what are you aiming at let's look at some of the characteristics of these project objectives number 1 Project objectives should be able to indicate the directions or goals or specify the outcomes of the project. By looking at your project objective, the reviewer or the client should be able to decide upon where are you heading towards. It should be able to define the scope of your project what you will be able to accomplish through the project and define the constraints of your project. Everything should be clearly mentioned. Sometimes even the project objectives, maybe if you have written three objectives, it should be able to define the various tasks or the steps that you will be undo doing in order to get a desired outcome or the achieve the results. And most important, the objective, what we have written, should be measurable. How can you make this objective to look like it is measurable? So, with the help of using action verbs. Right. So, whatever the objectives that you are writing, try using action verbs at the beginning of your objective, such that what you can expect as an outcome can be clearly mentioned. So objectives can vary from simple example. So there are a few examples shown here. Say so it could be like design an instrument to cut the leafy vegetables. This could be one of the objective. As you can see like the design is an action verb that I have used. I'm trying to help the uh, other person on the other side, I mean reviewer or anyone to look at it and understand like what am I trying to do in this project. So I'm trying to design an instrument which can be used in order to cut leafy vegetables. You can see like I'm using the instrument to cut only the leafy vegetables. This defines the scope of the my project. Right. So the second one could be prepare a chart with images of various fruits grown in India. This could be a kindergarten project or a first standard project where so the student is supposed to prepare a chart with images of various fruits grown only in India. Right. Or it could be as simple as saying that make arrangements to celebrate birthday party. Let's verify these written objectives with the characteristics. It's like a checklist you can say. Right. The project objective should be able to indicate the directions or goals or specify the outcomes of the project. In the first case, I am very clear that I am supposed to use this instrument to cut the leafy vegetables. Right. I am trying to design an instrument for it. Right. So it in fact it defines the scope of the project saying that I am doing this only to cut the leafy vegetables. Right. So um, design. Okay. That means the end outcome of this project will be in the form of some artifact which is shown to the users or reviewers which I should be able to test it whether it is able to cut the leafy vegetables or not. It should be measurable, right? So I'm using an action verb design and most important is so every objective should be complete by itself. When you read the objective independently, it should also make sense. When you look into the set of objectives, it also should make sense. That means, so by objective, by nature, it should be as a whole, it should be able to convey meaning. So these are the set of few simple examples which define the project objectives. Right. Let's look into the other set. 
maybe a slightly higher level, maybe at engineering level in such a cases, how do I form a project? Uh, how do I formulate the project objectives? So first one is like investigate the factors affecting the gold rate fluctuations in the Indian market. This could be one of your project objective, right? So as you can see, investigate, build are all the action verbs. So next, uh, second one is uh, build a machine learning model to classify the given image into wild and domestic animals. So now I know like I'm using an action verb. By the end of this project, I should, this is measurable thing. Right. By the end of this project, I should be able to say how accurately am I able to uh, classify the given image into wild animals and domestic animals. Right. So these are the kind of examples uh, which will help you to formulate project objectives. So you please carry out uh, writing this exercise, exercise of writing a project objectives for your project and you can paste it in the um, comment box so that I can help you out in refining the project objectives if required. Hope to see you in the next video with the next interesting topic. Thank you.